Welcome back to Graphic Island Tutorial. I'm Abul Mansoor and today I'm gonna show you how actually logo designer generate a new logo design ideas based on the description. So this is the description given by the client and according to these descriptions we need to develop a logo. So let me read out the descriptions. This is very important before developing any logo you need to read three or five times the given description so that it can meet the client expectation. So here is the logo title, great last minute gift. So if you read the logo title, the logo title is itself is saying the logo should be based on gift items. Now let's check the tagline and the slogan. This part is also very important to think about what type of logo you are gonna making. So if you look at the tagline and slogan it is written unique luxury gifting delivered in 48 hours. So delivered in 48 hours that means they deliver very fastly. So what does it mean? They do speed delivery. Now let's check the company details. This is an online shopping for gift items and home delivery. Type of logo they need is the iconic one and this is the color preference brown and the orange. So now let's check it once again. Great last minute gifts. Unique luxury gifting delivered in 48 hours. So online shopping for gift items. We need to use gift items in this logo. So what I'll do, I'll set up a page for the logo. You can choose any resolution. Usually I choose for the logo design is 3000 uh, times 3000 pixel. Click on create. So once you set up the page, now according to the description, let me take this to our page and leave it here so that we can see it and according to that will work. Let me close this tab. Now, first of all, we need to open a gift image. So I'll open a gift image. And I'll take this here. So this is one of the items we opened. And second thing, we need this 48 hours delivery time. That means we need a clock here. So I'll open a clock. And third, that means they used to deliver very fastly within 48 hours. So we need to show the speed in the logo. So I'll open one more image for the speed. And then I'll combine them all and make a logo here. Now what I'll do, I'll combine those three images and build a new logo. For the gift items, we need to make a rectangle and make a gift item shape here. Let me fill this rectangle with color. And now take this direct selection tool Select this anchor point and move it towards right hand side by using shift and arrow key like this. And this one. So both sides are not the same. Let me take it more. So this side and this side should be equal. So what I'll do, I'll cut it at the center and then I'll reflect it because balancing is the key for the logo designing. And now I'll select and from here I'll reflect it. And make it a single shape. Now next thing is we need to 
make a uh, one clock here and here I'll make a clock. So you need to find the proper place where it, it should look nice. You can see by putting it here, by putting it here, or by putting it here and make it a little bit smaller. So if I put here, it would be more nicer. And now I'll select this. I'll do copy, paste in place, and I'll change the color. And drag it by using Shift and Alt key and make the size a little bit smaller. Because here we need a gap. So I'll select this and this and from here do minus front. Now I'll select this one and I'll make a copy paste in place and change the color to the white or any other color no problem. And I'll drag it from this side. So here for the watch, for the clock, we need to make at the center. You can choose black color. And I'll take a rectangle. There I'll, I'll make a rectangle like this. Duplicate it by pressing Alt key. Now let me select both. And I'll group it. Control G and group it. So after grouping, I'll take it to the center. You can see the center line intersect is showing here. And I'll place it here. Now I'll select this one, press R key on your keyboard, and I'll get the center point. Now by pressing Alt key, I'll drag the center and I'll bring it to the center of the circle and leave it here. And here I'll give the angle. So here we need one, one, one. Because we don't want to put uh, much elements here. It should look simple and professional. So we'll try to uh make it minimize uh, make it simple as much as possible so here i'll give 90 degree and i'll preview it so it's fine it is coming here now copy now control d on your keyboard and repeat it so after doing that the clock bar should be required the pointer so from here uh, let me let me take a rectangle and I'll, I'll draw a clock bar here this pointer and bring it here and another uh, I'll I'll choose this rotate tool and I'll bring this center by pressing alt key and leave it here and you can give any angle uh, how much you want, like 20 degree, and you can preview it. Let's give me more 45. And copy. So one pointer should be smaller in size. Length should be smaller. So I'll make uh, this one smaller in size. So our clock is ready now. Now I'll select this one and this one and from here I'll do minus front. Next thing is for the gift box design it and make it more simple. So what I'll do here I'll make a rectangle here at the center and I'll see either it is in center or not.
and I'll select this one and I'll rotate it to the 90 degree and copy so here what I'll do I'll take it a little bit this side and I'll take this one down now I'll select this this and this by pressing shift key and from here do minus front so here it is uh, it has taken out this portion also so let me uh, drag it and I'll take up to here now I'll select this this and this again and do minus front next thing for the gift uh, items we need to make ribbon without ribbon uh, it will not reflect that uh, it is gift related thing so I'll make the ribbon uh, by using ellipse tool so I'll draw an ellipse like that let me change the color so that this one this one uh, will will be looking different and let me rotate it so this point should be at the center now I'll drag it by pressing alt key and make a duplicate here and I'll change the color now I'll select this one and this one and this time I'll do minus front and now select this one reflect tool by pressing alt key drag it and place it here copy let me take them little bit up like that and make it smaller I'll take this pen tool and from here I'll extend the ribbon as you know in the gift item how it looks and again I'll reflect this one and make it smaller in size so I'll select this one this one and this one by taking shape builder tool I'll erase this now as we talked about the speed because they will deliver it within 48 hours that means they will shift it very speedily so we need to show the speed here for that for the reference image here I open an speed image you can see uh, to show the speed we can use this symbol only will not uh, show the complete thing here or else it will looks odd so what I'll do I'll take this um, rectangle tool and here I'll draw a rectangle and now I'll take this delete answer point tool and I'll delete this point and take it here and now I'll drag it and make a duplicate control D and repeat it let's take this one down
and make it smaller. And now I'll take pen tool and I'll draw a line like this and I'll bring this here. Now I'll select them and by using shape builder tool by pressing alt key I'll delete this like this and delete this line. So let me take those to more nearer let me make one more duplicate here so here the color is brown and orange so in the gift item you can use the gradient color no problem so I'll select this and I'll apply gradient color here. I'll choose this brown color and orange color. And fix the gradient angle. Now by using pen tool here I'll draw a small line here increase the stroke choose this width profile and expand it after expanding apply the same color here with the same angle draw a line Take it up to here and this side also. Reflect it and bring it up to here. Now select this, this, and this, and using Shape Builder tool, delete it. So here we need to cut up to here. So what I'll do, I'll take a circle shape here and I'll cut. So wish you all the best. See you in next video.